An ultimate Saturday of the season, Portsmouth missed out on the chance to go back top. They were beaten by who else but Sunderland at Roker Park. Four goals to one, Walsh and Butters both sent off. It meant that anything but a West Ham victory at Swindon on the Sunday and United were promoted without kicking a ball. As it was, Billy Bonds and his hammers beat Glenn Hoddle and Swindon. And as a result, it was to Grimsby and the possibility of victory and the championship. Swarms of black and white descended upon South Humberside. They weren't to be disappointed. What a night. Robert Lee's through ball looking to find Andrew Cole. Cole's goal is there! They're off the bench. They're off the bench. Andrew Cole has scored with just 21 seconds of the second half play. Andrew Cole was released. And Cole, like a bullet, and like a knife through the heart of the defence, raced on to beat Rhys Wilmot from, what, 15 yards. Magnificent goal. Lee Clark celebrates. So too, 10,000 Geordies on Humberside. Cole just takes a man away. Kelly in on goal. David Kelly, can he stay on his feet? Kelly! Oh, what a goal! He stayed on his feet. And David Kelly has sparked unbelievable scenes here. They are on the pitch from every quarter. They'll have to get off. But Kelly, played in by Cole, went round the keeper. And just when it seemed that Kelly would go down, his momentum, his strength kept him on his feet. And he slid the ball in. And Kelly gets his 25th and most important goal of the season. Newcastle United are champions. They're promoted. The fans need to get off. They are getting off. And what a way to finish a game. I've never seen as many photographers round a dugout in my life. The referee blows. It's all over. The Premier League and the Division One Championship go to Newcastle United. Players race off with grins and smiles as broad as you like. Lee Clark stays on the field to celebrate. The fans have poured on, the horses have come on, but these are the sort of celebrations worthy of championships, worthy of promotion to the Premier League. Each and every one of the Newcastle personnel are down the tunnel, barring two men. One, David Kelly, is on the shoulders of fans being taken to the Osman end. The other is 20-year-old Lee Clark on the shoulders of some 40 Newcastle fans. You'll have to drag Lee Clark up here. David Kelly has a black and white bobble hat on. He's in unison with the fans, their fists raised. Their celebrations have started. The 1992-93 champions of the First Division the side who will represent the northeast of England in the Premier League in 1993-94 are Newcastle United. I've only been at the club for 15, 16 months and it's been absolutely unbelievable. You know, I've been out the game for such a long time and I forgot what it was like to win something and to actually do it in your first year. It's a credit to everyone concerned with the club and certainly the players because they've been a credit to the club, they've been a credit to their families and a credit to themselves and they deserved everything they got this season. Absolutely brilliant, Mick. It's never happened to me before, it's absolutely brilliant. But it just shows you what, what can be achieved. I mean, uh, Chairman's put millions and millions into the club and our ground's going to be brilliant as well in two or three years, you know, when it's all finished off. And, uh, you know, we, we've got a team that's in the Premier Division now. To be honest, I couldn't sleep last night because I knew we were so close, but yet so far in the excitement was uh, immense, you know, and uh, it was uh, very difficult to get to sleep last night, but, uh, you know, it's all over and it's all ended very happily, and uh, for them great fans out there, the, uh, the, the great moments come. Speaking from a coaching point of view, they've been a great bunch of lads to work with all year, right from the very first day of pre-season, and uh, more than anything else in the world, I'm delighted for them because there's obviously... Quite a number of them who've never ever set foot in the Premier League, as it now is, and uh, I think that they'll, they'll, they'll grace it, and hopefully they'll stick together next year. Obviously, possibility of an influx of one or two players, but 
you know, you look forward to things like that. It puts everybody on the toes. And like you say, you're going to places like Manchester United, Everton, Liverpool, Arsenal. And I'm looking forward to that because I never achieved that as a player either, other than in cup ties. Derek Fazakali, the unsung hero at St James's Park. Terry McDermott, Lee Clark and David Kelly, who 12 months earlier had scored the goal that kept them in the second division. Now he scores the goal that clinches the first division championship.